Okay, so you've got the Wheel of Fortune here. So there's a big change coming in for you and, you know, a lot of expansion. We've got it ruled by Jupiter over here. You can see big changes coming over here, maybe moving away from difficult situations, tooth being revealed to you that was hidden from you, uh, but also, you know, a lot of expansion coming in, uh, a lot of change coming in, especially with this Jupiter card, uh, you know, uh, moving out there, seeing the bigger picture and doing big things as well with that Wheel of Fortune. And it's also the end of old difficult cycle. It's a 10, so it's the end of uh, difficult problems. And you've got above it uh, Pluto, so you are definitely putting an end to things. This is a double 10, you see, um, 20. And Pluto is about endings. So whatever has gone in the past, it's transformation, leaving behind the past, resurrecting something from the past. So maybe you went back to do something or you're changing direction so you can take that control and power back. And eventually there's going to be a lot of victory that is associated with this new decision or this new change in direction that you're making. So you have transformed or whatever you've gone through has transformed you. And now you are letting go of that past, taking all those lessons, moving forward, but moving forward with great authority. Uh, and, you know, this is going to be a card that brings success. The judgment card is success after going through a lot of difficulties and hassles in life and, uh, you know, overcoming them, using all those lessons, and now you will achieve uh, rewards. It's like the universe giving you a little gift, uh, or big gift rather, uh, because you have learned so much and because you are now changing and transforming there is a decision that you have to make as well about what to do so the judgment card is also reaching that fork in the road and making the decision but the lovers card is also about making a decision now you must consider whatever you're deciding to do very carefully uh, weigh all the pros and cons look at everything and uh, you know then come to a conclusion don't just willy-nilly jump into a decision um, you know based on what you uh, whatever the flavor is for the day, rather. But think about it very carefully. So do some uh, research, consider, speak to people, and then make whatever this decision is. These are major arcana cards. So the, you've got three major arcana cards over here. So there's a big life change that is coming on. This is a part of your destiny. This is part of your karma. So this means that you know you have to be, consider it very carefully before you decide what you want to do. And whatever you do now is going to have impact for the future. Now, you've got the Three of Swords. So you dealt with some kind of t decision. It was a legal decision. You've got that King of Swords next to it. So you're very, very heartbroken ab about it. Maybe things did not go your way. So whatever that decision was, you were not happy about it uh, because, you know, you've got that Three of Swords over here. Uh, it was a legal decision. And this is also crying over things that did not go your way. There might have been a lot of lies and deception. People always say that the Three of Swords is about dealing with a third-party situation. Not necessarily so it, it just means that whatever has been going on there's been no communication with this person or whatever communication that you had with this person uh it could have been lethal could have been very toxic you know you could have had ha a lot of fighting going on uh, you've lost your balance in a sense there uh, and this is waiting for that legal decision so whatever it was this could have been a divorce it could have been some kind of legal uh, case that you have been dealing with but it doesn't seem like things have been going your way and but Whatever that was, it looks like it's, it spurred you on to make this big decision, this big change in direction that you're taking at the moment. And you've got the world card. So you're putting a complete end to that cycle, and this is the card of achievement. On the work front, this means that whatever you have, you're going to... Um, whatever you are doing is going to be very successful. You are at the top of that rung. This is the end ruled uh, end of the uh, major arcana, and it's ruled by Saturn. Now, Saturn is a planet about restriction, but it's also a planet about lessons. So that means that comically you have come through all your major lessons in life. Um, and, you know, you are now uh, at the point where you are you know, almost guru status. So you are at a point where you can give a lot of advice uh, because you've been through so much. But it's also a point, a card that shows that you are unique. You are shining in a very unique light and the world is seeing that as well. This could also be a card about travel, but whatever you're doing, this is all about success. So you are reaching that very successful phase of your life. Now you've got that Prince of Swords over here. Things are going to start moving very quickly. There's some communication that is going to be coming in. It might not be the most... Um, uh, you know, a communication that you may not like a lot. Um, you've got Gemini, the twins over here. So whatever this communication is, it might be something that leads you on to make some kind of decision for the future. 
whatever this information is, it comes in quite quickly. It could be something official, it could be something legal that comes in. But it means that you're going to have to act pretty quickly when you get this particular news. There's no hanging about. Uh, you know, it can if you don't make the decision quickly, if you don't act quickly, uh, things can go wrong. So whatever that is, be aware of it, be prepared for it, um, you know, and it's going to bring about big change. Whatever that uh, news is, it ends old cycles as well. So there's a legal ending to things, but it also gives you a lot of authority authority and power. So whatever is coming in is going to put authority and power back in your hand. It's news that comes in very quickly. It's of the official nature. But going back, it also brings in a big change for you. So some big change coming in. It's going to spur you on whatever that news is to make some kind of big decision over here. Because you've got Gemini of the lovers over here. And then you've got this mutable air over there that's also got Mercury in Gemini big decisions coming in and you need to act quickly but you also need to think very logically when you're making these decisions like i said it could be a legal decision so you know make sure you you think before you speak um so watch what you say as well uh you don't want you to get yourself in trouble because of something that you said by mistake so it looks like there's some kind of legality that you're dealing with and make sure that you're doing the research as well uh before you say anything so don't Open your mouth unless you have something uh, that you have researched or you know exactly what you're going to say. Uh, because that decision or whatever is coming in, it's coming in pretty quickly, but you're going to have to act pretty quickly. And you have to, you're going to have to know exactly what you're saying before you say it. Okay, so um, this is the uh, Tower of the Spirit World. And I'm going to use that for main read. Now, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Knight of Cups. This is your card. This is maybe an offer coming in, or this is maybe you taking whatever it is, uh, you know, taking all your emotions and moving on. Maybe you're taking your offer to somebody else. Uh, you know, you are taking your heart to somebody else. You are moving on. The Knight of Cups is like, uh, you know, the Knight in Shining Armor. It moves. It's... Uh, you know, reasonably fast-moving knight, and, you know, he's very emotional. Um, it, it is a card that is ruled by cancer. Uh, it's about new information or new um, a new offer coming in that's going to make you pretty happy. It could be something to do with, um, you know, it's even about getting advice from somebody as well, or maybe even giving advice to somebody as well. Um, but it is something that uh, is more emotionally fulfilling. So maybe an offer coming in that is much more emotionally fulfilling for you, something that you've always wanted for, something that you've been looking forward to. Um, but it also you know, involves some kind of travel. Now, this could be also you uh, maybe in a kind of a teaching role, a kind of a mentor role as well, giving out that information to people. If this is your card and you are, you are the one with the cup, it might be you presenting things to people. So you might be taking on a teaching role or as a mentor as well, where you're training people up. Now, what's happening for you? You've got this um, Knight of Pentacles over here and this King of Wands. So almost all of these cards are talking about communicating, uh, you know, to a bigger audience. So this might be that you're going to be traveling uh, also, that Knight of Cups, to present information to people. You've got this King of Wands who's a political speaker, who's a person who presents information as well. So somebody who's in charge, dynamic. Uh, so maybe you're taking on that particular role. And in between these two cards is the Knight of Pentacles. And this is about hard working or working a particular job or, you know, doing that particular, maybe even starting a new job or even working in that particular field. Whatever you're doing right now, whatever your job you're doing, there's going to be some uh, communication skills that are required of you. So you're going to be uh, an, uh, talking about, oh, um, you know, an or orator or uh, somebody who, who speaks. Maybe you're going to be giving a person doing the lecturing, giving seminars, giving talks, uh, training up people. So you're going to be in the spotlight, but you're going to be giving them a lot of information. And this is going to be your job for a while. And it might involve a lot of travel as well. So you're giving out information or you're giving out knowledge. And it's some kind of training that you'll be doing of people. So you're talking uh, giving maybe giving advice you could be um, giving off giving seminars giving lectures um, you know you could be somebody that works in a university or somebody that does mentoring uh, you know you could be one of these people that um, is actually giving uh, you know life coaches one of those kind of people you could even be in the political arena as well so there's something that you're going to be doing a lot of public speaking in 
and it's going to require require a lot of travel as well. But whatever message you're giving is a very healing message because you've got that cup, and it's also very a, a message full of knowledge. That cup. Now you've taken on this role of the emperor being a, um, a role of authority. You've taken on that. You can see this man, this emperor is putting the crown on. So it's it's been in the recent past, and you know you've been very dynamic and very proactive, and it's a it's a, a role of authority. So it seems like you've taken on some important role recently. You had some kind of choice to make over here with the lovers card over here. So it was a difficult decision. You have reached some kind of crossroads. So maybe you know after taking on this role of authority, maybe people have presented this new job to you uh, where you're now going to be doing some public speaking and it's going to also involve a lot of travel as well so you are faced with some kind of option now you've got the seven of pentacles so whatever you've been investing in you've been uh, you know you're hoping that that pays off you've been trying to spend a lot more time with your family as well so you you know money is coming in for you whatever this new job is uh, that you're going to be taking on soon that's going to um, require you to speak publicly and also travel it's going to bring in a lot of money uh, and it's going to allow you to it's going to give you a lot more free time for some reason uh, so that you can spend a lot more time with your family. Uh, so, And it's going to be um, you know, a good payoff. So some, a, a lot of money is coming in with it. So it's well worth considering and taking, accepting that particular offer. Now you've got the Queen of Wands, so it's about teaching, training, mentoring people. You can see you are, uh, it looks like you're working with younger people. It might be you're training them up, giving them a lot of authority. You're even uh, starting, you're growing something. It seems like you've invested in a project. You can see these ones have got uh, leaves budding on them. So, you know, whatever you're doing is growing um, and you're giving out information. You're, you can see you're training. This person's got that book. People are learning a lot from you. Um, as well as you know, taking leadership from you. So it looks like you're in some kind of position of authority and uh, you know, um, you're giving out a lot of uh, advice, a lot of information. So going uh, into the future, and this is about you, the Eight of Batons, so this is about knowledge and travel. So it looks like, you know, whatever was holding you back, you're going to do a lot more learning yourself. You're learning a lot, but there's also a lot of travel, and it looks like you're going to be very, very busy soon. Um, and it's all got to do with education and knowledge and travel and teaching and learning at the same time. Now, around you, you still got some kind of legal case that you're uh, waiting for to get sorted out. It looks like, you know, it hasn't budged. There's been no movement. The sword is, the sword is pretty much stuck in that rock face. And, you know, you've been trying to uh, make things change, but things haven't been moving on. It's been very difficult for you, whatever this legal situation is that you're dealing with. Um, maybe you have had no joy in getting success from this particular thing. So you're, you're still dealing with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, um, what's happening with you? Whatever that situation was, was a very, very, um, uh, oh, it's quite rather depressing really, because it seems like it had you in a deadlock situation over here. Um, it seems like you've been getting some kind of advice, some kind of professional advice, but whatever it ha has, has got you really pinned down to the ground so even you can see even that sword is very pinned into that rock so it it's like a situation that is so stuck it won't budge so you're having a lot of difficulties with it and it's a bit overwhelming as well because it seems to be uh you know getting the better of you you seem to be struggling quite a bit so there's some kind of legal situation that you're dealing with that you're having a lot of problems with it and it doesn't seem to be moving it seems to be uh not going in your favor either and you've been making you see this person's climbing this rock face. So it's, it's been a very difficult struggle and even fighting this particular demon here. But, uh, you know, and, and you seem to be overwhelmed by it in a sense. So, you know, you are worried uh, by whatever this legal situation is because it doesn't seem to be going uh, or moving at all. It, it seems to be a bit of a stalemate that you're dealing with. And you're feeling a bit overwhelmed. It's taking its toll on you. Now, you've got uh, the judgment card over here. You've got the king of pentacles and the fool. So the judgment card come, uh, looks like there is going to be some kind of outcome and it's going to be in your favor with the judgment card. So whatever this legal situation is that you're so worried about, that you're so overwhelmed with, that's giving you so much of problems, with the judgment card there's going to be success from it and you're going to hear about it. So it's going to open up a different avenue in your life as well. So whatever that legal situation is that you're dealing with, it will, uh, it's going to be in your favor and it's going to open new doors for you and it's going to allow you to move in a different direction as well. So you're going to make a decision once that com a case comes through, whatever that uh, uh, you're going to get legal closure and it's going to be favorable and you're going to be able to move on.
you got that king of pentacles over here so this is about you know money coming in for you and you starting something brand new so you're taking authority but this is about financial success and having plenty of everything so money is going to be there and whatever job you have is going to be a very stable job so it's going to be bring in a lot of money and it's going to be uh you know you're going to be pretty stable as well you got the full card of here so brand new beginnings coming in for you as well so once this legal decision is made you get some kind of stability maybe even this new job means that you going to be signing new contracts as well you're going in a different direction and it's a new direction for you and it's going to bring in a lot of success so all in all even though you're going to you know you've dealt with a lot of problems there seems to be um you know a positive move forward it looks like you're going to be traveling there's going to be some kind of um uh, you're taking on some kind of role as a mentor or a lecturer or something where you do public speaking it's a new beginning for you but it also brings in a lot of money as well and it's something you maybe you didn't even think you you would be doing because you're using all your skills and you're going to be doing that. So um, it looks like, you know, you're moving in a very positive direction. You're putting in, uh, the past behind you completely and you're going to be very, very busy soon and a lot of travel coming up for you as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Animal Tarot. So there you go, the Ace of Spring the world and the queen of autumn. So the ace of spring is talking about a wonderful new opportunity that presents itself. It may come as a surprise, but you still will want to leap into action and passionately pursue every possibility. So it looks like this brand new cycle is beginning. You might be introduced to it by somebody else, but it's definitely where you are taking on a role as being, um, you know, a, an advisor, somebody who's giving information that causes growth and uh, maybe it's in the medical profession. It's something that brings in healing as well or nurturing, some kind of nurturing advice that you're giving. It's definitely public speaking um, and, you know, because that Ace of uh, Spring is like the Ace of Rods, it's about communicating and meeting a lot of people and a lot of travel that's going to be involved with this particular job. And then it's got, you've got the world. So it's, there's a lot of travel that is coming in with this particular job. Congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do. You have made it through challenges and incorporated the lessons that life offered you with grace and courage. So it looks like, you know, there's, uh, you are achieving great success as far as your work life goes. But also there's a lot of travel in this new job that you're going to be doing and, you know, a lot of money coming in and you're going to be very unique. You can see this dog is a very unique dog sitting over there uh, and, you know, whatever information you're giving out to the world or you're going to be speaking about is going to be very unique to you. And, you know, people, a lot of people will be very interested in coming to hear about that. And it's definitely going to bring in the money because you've got the Queen of Autumn immediately following these two cards. So something brand new that you're starting that involves travel and communication. And you've got, you know, a lot of travel there with that world. And the Rod's card is also about travel and, you know, uh, speaking. And then you've got the Queen of Autumn, which is about money coming in. And it says you are given advice that is both practical and creative and it should be followed precisely. Focus only on the positive in every situation or person. Now, this is about, you know, you, you could be getting advice, but I'd rather think this is about the Queen of Pentacles and this is about finances coming in as well. Uh, you know, achieving, accomplishing uh, things that you wanted to. So whatever this new job is, it's going to bring in a lot of money, a lot of authority. This rabbit is wearing a crown. So a lot of recognition coming in and a lot of travel. Uh, and it seems like whatever you're putting out into the world is pretty unique. And, uh, you know, people are going to appreciate it quite a bit. So you're changing your course. You're undergoing a transformation and it's going to be very successful with that judgment card. So it looks really, really positive. Uh, you know, and it also seems like whatever legal situation you're dealing with is going to go in your favor, especially with that judgment card. So um, a very positive read. And I hope that uh, it has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.